This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2421, 10 Things to Remember When You Feel Unsure of Yourself by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, the guy that reads to you every day covering personal development or self-help, how to live a better life, and a lot more. It's always with permission from the authors or websites. And we're gonna get right to it and start optimizing your life. 10 Things to Remember When You Feel Unsure of Yourself by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. It's not what you say out loud to everyone else that determines your life. It's what you whisper to yourself that has the greatest power. If you feel unsure of yourself sometimes, I know exactly how you feel. I used to be incredibly unsure of myself, and sometimes I still am, but it's not all bad. Heightened self-consciousness, anxiety, and inability to join in and feeling different, they're really not all bad. Those inner battles have been my angels at times. Without them, I would never have disappeared into literature, language, the mind, passionate work, and all the wild intensities that made and unmade me and shaped me into the person I am today. But a harsh truth remains. The enemies we encounter in life, especially our own inner demons, use the things we're insecure about against us, which means we can't hide forever. We have to emerge. We have to grow through our insecurities. At some point, we have to free ourselves and take our power back by being secure in who we are, flaws and all. This isn't easy, of course. It is a journey, and as you embark, here are some important things to keep in mind. Number one, the story you tell yourself is the story you live by. Everyone tells a story about themselves inside their own head, every day, all the time. And that story makes you what you are. It lays the foundation for every action you take or don't take. You build yourself out of that story. Number two, every belittling, insecure thought is unreliable and changeable. Once it becomes self-conscious, There's no end to it if you don't address it. Once you start to doubt yourself, there's no room for anything else until you make a change. You're going to have to let truth shout louder to your soul than the lies that have infected you. Number three, a moment of truth is one of your most powerful assets. Instead of smiling to be polite, just cry when you need to. Instead of laughing when you're nervous or uncomfortable, just speak your truth. Instead of acting like everything is all right, Proclaim it isn't all right. Talk about your feelings. Honor yourself. Honor your truth. Be real. Number four, a little self-focus and self-care goes a long way. Whenever you're self-conscious, you're really just exhibiting that you're not conscious of who you are. You don't feel comfortable being yourself. If you did, then there would be no problem. You wouldn't be seeking opinions from others. You wouldn't be worried what others say about you. It'd be irrelevant. When you're self-conscious, you are in trouble. When you're self-conscious, you are really showing symptoms that you don't know who you are inside. Your very self-consciousness indicates that you have not given yourself enough care. Number five, the biggest critic lives in your perception of people's perception of you, not people's perception of you. One of the greatest journeys in life is overcoming insecure thoughts and learning to truly not care so much about other people's opinions. In fact, you will never make a great impression on others until you stop thinking about what sort of impression you're making. Number six, everyone has their own way, which has nothing to do with you. One big reason we judge each other so bitterly in our society of social comparison and social status We perceive anyone else who's doing things differently than what we're doing as criticizing our decisions. This, of course, is something we need to let go. Number seven, your greatest beauty is completely out of sight in shallow social interactions. Outer beauty is only skin deep, and everyone has ugly days, we're only human. Focus within, not without. Acting right is better than looking right. Realize that evil can look pretty on the outside. Realize what makes you beautiful beyond looks. You're far more than what can be seen at a glance. Number eight, unconsciousness 
can cripple you. A human being will be imprisoned in a room with a door that's unlocked and opens inwards as long as it does not occur to her to pull rather than push. An open, conscious mind is the key. Number nine, your struggles have been making you, not breaking you. Sometimes you must go through difficulties, breakups, rejections, and painful wounds which shatter the flattering image you once had of life in order to gradually discover two powerful truths. One, life is not exactly how you thought it was, and two, the loss of one wonderful pleasure is not necessarily the loss of true long-term happiness and well-being. And number 10, the more you live through and learn through, the more you'll realize how much you don't know. Research suggests that the so-called imposter syndrome that takes place when we suddenly don't feel good enough gets more intense as we grow wiser. The more experienced or accomplished we become, the more likely we are to rub shoulders with ever more interesting, talented, and skilled people, leaving us feeling even more inadequate by comparison. So in a backwards way, if you're concerned that you don't measure up, that could very well be a good sign that you actually do measure up just fine. Afterthoughts. In the end, you'll ultimately come to realize this. Insecurities have the ability to shape and mold your mind to live with everything that's bad, like crying on the inside constantly while smiling on the outside, thus creating endless anxiety. But there is a solution. Have patience with everything that remains unsolved in your heart. Forget about what you thought for a moment and appreciate exactly where you are. Think positively. Be mindful. Focus on the one meaningful task you can handle in the present and notice the slight, gradual progress you're making. Then repeat. You just listened to the post titled 10 Things to Remember When You Feel Unsure of Yourself by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. Thank you to Mark. Number two in this post definitely related to what we talked about yesterday. So in number two, Mark said, every belittling insecure thought is unreliable and changeable. Yesterday, we were talking about feelings, emotions bubbling up and actively choosing what we want to do in that situation. And thoughts are the exact same way, incredibly fleeting. If you've ever tried the most basic form of meditation, just concentrating on your breath, then you know what I'm talking about. Usually within just a couple of seconds, our mind is already off somewhere else thinking about anything else, anything but the breath. That's just how changeable and unreliable thoughts are. And that can be used to our advantage. Knowing that they're incredibly fleeting, we can choose to move our thoughts to something else when they're not serving us in a helpful way. This also relates to number five. Your perception of other people's perception of you is a much bigger critic than the other people themselves because your perception lives in your own head. What we think other people are thinking is completely in our heads and simply a made-up story. A slight frown, a little glance that you didn't like, and boom, our minds choose to make up a story around that and judge the situation. One thought after the next, and we're down some rabbit hole thinking that whoever we're talking to hates us, when that could be the farthest thing from the truth. So the solution, awareness, mindfulness, and positivity. All things that take practice, but all worth it in the end. And hopefully this podcast can help with that practice. So with that, thank you for being here and listening every single day and for subscribing to the show or following. I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual, where your optimal life awaits.